Who gives Blake to be married? We do. Mowage. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Friends and family, we're here to celebrate the relationship of Blake and Adam and to be witness and supporters of the commitment they share with one another. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Adam's older, wiser, and extremely hilarious sister. <laughs> and I am single, if any of you happen to know any doctors, lawyers, or professional football players. <laughs> <laughs> I am truly honored to be a part of this special day. This is my first time officiating a wedding, and while I've never done it before, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be awesome at it. <laughs> Blake and Adam have asked me to thank all of you for being here and to recognize how important each and every one of you are to their relationship. I'd like to acknowledge all of those who couldn't make it here today and those who are with us in spirit as they are certainly missed, but not forgotten on this day of celebration. You may all be seated. Together, we're a group of the most important people in their lives, and they've brought us here to publicly recognize that we've all played some special part in the love that they share today. Blake and Adam, the time has come to forget all the stress of planning this day and simply enjoy your friends and family who have gathered to spend this day with you. This group of loved ones will likely never be together in the same place again. Today you choose each other before your family and friends to begin your life together. For all the tomorrows that follow, you will choose each other over and again in the privacy of your hearts. Let your love and friendship guide you as you learn and grow together. All of us here today have our own love stories. Some are short, some are long, some are yet unwritten, while others are just getting to the good part. Still others are just waiting for Channing Tatum to show up at their door and sweep them off their feet. <laughs> Not mentioning any names, but we can all dream, right? <laughs> Your love story started when Blake came home from her sophomore year of college saying she had met a guy. She talked a lot about this guy, Adam, and her mother, Jana, spent a lot of time outside Blake's bedroom door listening to them talk on the phone. <laughs> It then became time that Adam was going to come to Boise to see Blake. Blake's dad, JR, said, we weren't sure what to think of this guy from Philly that wore a flat-billed hat and how he would adjust to Idaho rednecks. But Blake was happy, and not long after that, it started to become clear that Adam was the one. During this time, Blake was also learning more about Adam's family. He told her, I have two older sisters. Emily is great. She'll love you right away. You've got no reason to be nervous about meeting her. But Sarah, Sarah is the one you should be worried about. <laughs> I wish I could say he was kidding, but he was absolutely right. You see, a long time ago, I made a promise to my, to my mother. I promised that I would protect, defend, and take care of my little brother. I would never let him get hurt. So in my opinion, no girl could ever be good enough for him. Then came the time for me to meet this girl Adam couldn't stop talking about. And it took me no time at all to fall madly in love with Blake. Blake, I am grateful to you in a way that is simply impossible to express in words. I've watched my brother, my brother grow up, longing for someone who will care for, love, and support him. And I've never seen him happier than when he's with you. You enrich the lives of all those around you with your inner strength, your compassion, your sense of right, and simply your love. We both know my brother deserves the best, and I know that you qualify for the spot. Thank you. Thank you for being the woman that every sister hopes her brother will find. Adam. I know that without you, I wouldn't be the person I am today. Even though I'm your older sister, I have to turn the page. 
Even though I'm your older sister, you have never failed to teach me along the way. I have watched you grow into a strong, caring, loyal, truly good man. I can't count the number of people who have said to me, I would give anything to have a brother like yours. Thank you for all you do, all you give, and all that you are. And thank you for finding the woman that every sister hopes her brother will find. You met by chance, but you fell in love for a very simple reason. And that reason is most accurately described by my personal hero, Rocky Balboa. <laughs> when asked why he loved Adrian, Rocky said, she's got gaps, I got gaps, together we fill gaps. <laughs> Neither one of you is whole without the other. You each bring out the best of the other. You are equals, you support one another, you were meant to be together. You fill gaps. And that brings you here. A time to pause, look back, and smile at all the moments that led you here. And to look ahead at all the moments that are yet to come. The story of your life together is still yours to write. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. Please turn towards one another. <laughs> Adam, do you take Blake to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish as long as you both shall live? I do. Blake, do you take Adam to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward? For better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish as long as you both shall live. I do. Please join your right hands, then the left hands. The hands are a connection to the heart, and a hand blessing symbolically brings two hearts together. These are the hands of your best friend. Together they are strong and will build your foundation. As you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours and together build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years with the slightest touch that will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when your mind fills with fear or grief. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, both tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will help you hold up your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength and support when you need it most. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours, giving you the same unspoken tenderness of a single touch. Bob, may I have the rings, please? <laughs> How deep are those pockets? <laughs> Pretty deep today. Good job, Bob. Wedding bands are a visible, tangible symbol of a couple's commitment and of their emotional and spiritual connection. Blake and Adam, let these rings serve as a reminder of the feelings you have in your hearts at this very moment. There are times in life that we tend to focus on the things we have not yet, yet accomplished. There will also be times of great loss. Yet as you look at your wedding band, remember the great gift that you have been given and all that you have in one another. Remember that you have someone to share this life with. Never again will you walk alone. Okay, Adam, repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign that I choose you. As a sign that I choose you. To be my partner and my best friend. To be my partner and my best friend. Until the end of my days. Until the end of my days. Wear it, think of me, and know that I love you. Wear it, think of me, and know that I love you. A ring that's hard to get on is hard to get off. <laughs> Blake, repeat after me. I give you this ring as a sign that I choose you. To be my partner and my best friend. To be my partner and my best friend. Until the end of my days. Until the end of my days. Wear it, think of me, and know that I love you. Wear it, think of me, and know that I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Adam. 
and now, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Adam, you may kiss your bride. Family and friends, it is with great pleasure that I present to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Adam and Blake Bowie.